Good evening. Welcome back to our special election, special road to Lok Sabha 2024. Let's just begin with where Prime Minister is right now. Prime Minister Modi is conducting a road show in Coimbatore and we'll get you the visuals. It's the election season, road shows after road shows. Earlier in the day, Prime Minister, at least in two instances during his election rallies, has launched a scathing attack against Rahul Gandhi and the Congress. Taking on, taking Rahul Gandhi on, the reference to Shakti during the Bharat Jodo Yatra, the last lap as they ended the Bharat Jodo Yatra. And if you can have those visuals as well. So you have Prime Minister Modi in Coimbatore. We'll have to see whether he makes references to the remarks of Rahul Gandhi again because just a while ago, Shiv Moga, he definitely took on Rahul Gandhi yet again. So twice already during his election rallies. Now, what did Rahul Gandhi say? And what did Prime Minister Modi say? Let's just listen in before we get in other reactions as well. Well, Rahul Gandhi made his remarks, as I said, in Mumbai. This was at the Shivaji Park. And this was at the last day, at the concluding event or ceremony of the Bharat Jodo Nyaya Yatra. Rahul Gandhi said there is a word Shakti in Hindu religion. We are fighting against Shakti. The question is, what is that Shakti and what does it entail for us? The soul and integrity of EVMs have been compromised, not just EVMs, but the very autonomous institution of the country, be it the Enforcement Directorate, CBI or Income Tax Department, have traded their spines to the centre. And we are fighting against that Shakti. Now, Prime Minister Modi has launched a strong attack. Prime Minister Modi hit back at Rahul Gandhi in Telangana and said the Indi Alliance, to quote him, in their manifesto said that their fight is against Shakti. For me, every mother, daughter, sister is a form of Shakti. I worship them in the form of Shakti. I'm the worshipper of Bharat Mata. Their manifesto is to finish Shakti. I accept the challenge. Prime Minister Modi's remarks in Shiv Moga a short while ago where he again launched an attack on Rahul Gandhi. He said, and I quote, crores of Indians are believers in Shakti. I'm shocked that this happened in Shivaji Park. I was thinking how Bala Sahib Thakre's soul would have felt when they are talking about ending Shakti. On 4th June, they will know what the power of Shakti can do. Meanwhile, Rahul Gandhi has also tweeted a statement. He has alleged that Prime Minister Modi twisted his remarks and said he knew he was speaking deep truth let's listen in hindu dharm mein shakti shabd hota hai hum shakti se lad rahe hain ek shakti se lad rahe hain ab sawal uthta hai wo shakti kya hai jaise kisi ne yahan kaha राजा की आत्मा ईवीएम में है सही है सही है राजा की आत्मा ईवीएम में है हिंदुस्तान की हर संस्था में है ईडी में है सीबीआई में है इनकम टैक्स डिपार्टमेंट में है देश के कोटि कोटि लोग हिंदू धर्म की शक्ति के उपासक हैं और मैं तो हैरान हूं कल शिवाजी पार्क में शक्ति के विनाश का ऐलान हो रहा है जब मैंने सुना तो मैं सोच रहा था बाड़ा साहब आप, आप ठाकरे जी बाड़ा साहब ठाकरे जी उनकी आत्मा को कितना दुख पहुंचा होगा चार जून को इन्हें पता चल जाएगा कि शक्ति को ललकारने का मतलब क्या होता है 
I'm being joined by Dharinder Tayal, BJP leader, Pankhuri Patak, spokesperson for the Congress, Chandrasekhar Jha, Shiv Sena leader. Thank you very much, all three of you, for joining us. Pankhuri Patak, first to you. Uh, not even a day is over. Prime Minister Modi has already used this at least twice. And most likely, he's going to again take this on during his Coimbatore address. How do you look at this? How, does, how is the Congress looking at this? Neha, we are not surprised that uh, Prime Minister Modi is again twisting Rahul Ji's words and making an issue where there is none. Because after 10 years of misgovernance, 10 years of fake pro promises, he does not have anything else to tell the people about. He used to talk about, he uh, used to speak a lot about Kaladhan, but today we have seen that all the Kaladhan of the country has reached the BJP's bank accounts through fraudulent companies, through electoral bonds. He used to talk about women's security. Uh, but we have seen the most horrifying crimes against women have taken place in his tenure in the last 10 years. Not only crime against women, crime against women by his own people, by his own MLAs, by his own MPs. And for the first time in the history of this country, we saw people from the BJP come out in support of rapists. So this is what has happened in this country in the last 10 years, and that is why he cannot talk about women's security anymore. He cannot talk about employment because he made a fake promise of providing two crore jobs a year. But now we have seen the situation of unemployed youth in the country where there are no jobs, where the government uh, exams are being okay. leaked and people are okay. out on the streets protesting against the government. So basically, he cannot talk okay. about any of the Let me just go promises. across to Dharinder Tayal for his introductory remarks government. and I'll get back to you. Dharinder Tayal, you're hearing what the Congress is saying. Congress is saying now this whole Shakti attack has been taken to another tangent, bringing in the other aspects of Shakti that the Congress did not mean because the BJP doesn't have anything strong to really talk about. Sneha, I think it is not funny any longer. Mr. Rahul Gandhi used to make a lot of statements which we, one would, would disregard as funny. Now, here the Congress is somehow trying to do damage control where there is no possibility of doing that because he did not use the word Shakti. He said, Hinduism may Shakti hai. So he is referring to the Shakti in Hinduism. So here he is not talking to a random concept of Shakti or power. As one would say, he's talking to Hinduism like Shakti. And that is actually bringing the, to the core and to the forefront the basic anti Sanatan thought of Congress Party and the India Bloc. When the India Bloc says Sanatan is equivalent to AIDS, Sanatan needs to be eliminated. If maybe there's misinterpretation here, no misinterpretation there. That is exactly the thought that is there. They coined the word Hindu terrorism. I mean, it is laughable when somebody thinks Hindu terrorism. I mean, come on. That is what is the core of the whole concept. Pran Pratishtha hoti hai. Wo wahan nahi jate. Pran Pratishtha ne. What is the concept? I mean, did that mandir belong to Bhajpa? Did that mandir belong to the Sangh? No. The mandir was of the Ram. They say Ram is hypothetical. Ram is mythological. And they give an affidavit to that. So maybe the people who say that this is not Rahul Gandhi, this is Raul Vinci, maybe those people are right. That is the anti sanatan face of Congress. Okay. They have exploited the Hindus all along. And that is what they've been doing for years now. Fair enough, now from the, the south to the north, north, that's one thing that the BJP this. has been questioning the Congress on. Let me please allow me to get in Chandrasekhar Jha as well. Chandrasekhar Jha, this incident happened or the comment by Rahul Gandhi happened in Mumbai, in Maharashtra. And no surprising, Prime Minister Modi has also made references to Balasab Thakre saying what would his soul have felt? The soul would have been so agonized. How do you look at this? How do you respond to this? Uh, the first thing that uh, Mr. Modi referring to Ms. Uh, Sri Bala Sahib Thakre is completely out of word because if you see today, uh, even after visiting Mumbai, even after visiting Maharashtra so, so many times, he did not and could not visit the Samadhi place of Bala Sahib Thakre. What would this be understandable? Because uh, from 2000 till uh, 2012, uh, when he was alive, and eventually if you see that during the Gujarat riots, uh, Mr. Balasaheb Thakre was there to save Mr. Modi. And everybody knows this story. 
So in, in any manner, if he refers to Sri Bala Sahib Thakre and Shivaji Park, that such kind of statements have come, whether he has done anything for him, he has never. Now I come down to second part. Second part is that uh, the Shakti, referring to Shakti. Shakti in Sanskrit more, means power. And he is referring to Hindu religion Shakti. Shakti has not referred to any goddess or any worshipping idol. He has referred to Shakti, Shakti for the EVM, Shakti for the uh, power which is uh, divisive in the constitution, for the electoral process, for the judiciary, for the legislative, for the but administration. But very clearly mentioning and that Hinduism has a Shakti. Too. And Prime Minister Hinduism Modi is saying that embodiment Shakti. is in deities. He is referring to a, a, a different part because Shakti which he, Mr. Rahul Gandhi has referred, he has referred to the power which is being misutilized by the Modi government and nothing else. And he has mentioned it that the EVM, uh, then the CBI, then the income tax, okay. then the uh, other agencies which are being misutilized. So he's mentioned everything that Shakti okay. means I'll what? I'll take Shakti this to Dharinder Tayal. Also the allegation by you that Prime Minister Modi or the BJP is trying to appropriate Bala Sahib's um, legacy. But I'll get back to that. Uh, Pankuri to you. Is the, I mean... Is this what BJP is managing to do with Congress's every every attack of the Congress? Is it falling flat? Is Congress's attack every now and then falling flat? Let's look at Chokidar. They turned it around. Parivar. PM Ka Parivar turned it around. And now Shakti. Brazen counters after counters. PM Modi himself taking on Rahul. So is there... Right now, um, the, uh, the Shiv Sena leader said appropriating Bala Sahib's um, uh, legacy. But to you, Panghuri Pathak, is the BJP successfully managing to counter-appropriate every attack that Congress is trying to launch? And put it around, even if you're claiming misquoting, but turning it around on its head to whatever it believes is the context. Neha, I believe that the people of this country are very smart. You can fool them once, you can fool them twice, but you cannot fool them every time. I heard the BJP spokesperson and it is very clear that their only agenda is to kind of create a fear psychosis uh, and uh, to, you know, uh, to basically uh, make a particular community insecure. That's their only agenda. That's, only, that's the only thing that they can talk about. And people who have become Hindus, Post-2014, maybe they don't know that our scriptures talk about two types of Shakti. One is the Asurya Shakti, the demonic power, the demonic evil force. One is the Devya Shakti, the positive force. So there's always a fight be be between these two forces. Today, Modi ji uh, symbolizes and his BJP symbolizes the negative, the evil force which you can see in the form of the corruption that has been uh, revealed in the form of the electorals bo electoral bond. It is in the form of uh, the misuse of central agencies, where se central agencies were sent after fraudulent companies, and those companies in turn donated thousands of crores to the BJP. It is uh, in the form of various other evils that have and been to propagated others as well, by the BJP. to lesser extent, but certainly so, to others as well, including Congress, Far lesser extent, but surely. No, there is no comparison. We didn't have the central agencies under us. It is very clear now that the sequence of events is becoming more and more clear. There is a, uh, there is, you can actually establish how fraudulent companies were first raided by the ED, then they were made to pay uh, through electoral bonds okay. to the BJP. And this entire talk about Kala Dhan for the people of this country, seconds, for the please. first time, they have seen what Kaladhan really is in the form of the money that has gone to the BJP through electoral bonds. BJP has misused the central okay. agencies. All right. like Let me just get to that. Before, that. No one could have you made your point. even imagine the extent of the misuse. And this is what Rahul ji has spoken Pankuri, about. Let me get in about Dharinder the Tayal. evil forces that are in control of the BJP. Dharinder Tayal, please respond to Pankuri Patak, but also to, to the allegation of appropriating, attempting to appropriate Bala Sahib's legacy just for elections during the election time to suit the narrative. How would you respond to both of them, to the Congress? Uh, to Pankuri Patak as well as Chandrasekhar Jha's allegations. First of all, there is no question of uh, appropriating somebody's legacy. I mean, Bala Sahib is held in uh, respect. 
and in saying talking about him because it was Shivaji Park, or uh, Modi ji has honored him and paid his respect to him. So there's no question of misappropriating a legacy. Coming to what uh, Pankhani has said, I'm sure she will have to eat her words. One, she's talked about the central agencies. 9th May 2013, uh, all of us know who was in power. That is the day Supreme Court declared CBI is a caged parrot. Please check it out, Pankhani, you'll find it. So let us not talk about Hamari time pe to aisa nahi tha. So one. Two, she says misgovernance. Yes, complete misgovernance. I mean, we were given a fragile economy and we brought it to the top five in the world. Fantastic misgovernance. Poor people, poor people, poverty, the uh, World Poverty Index has said that now extreme poverty has been virtually been eliminated from India. So that is the performance of the Modi government. She is saying fear psychosis. Nobody understands that better than Congress does. Let me tell you that. Because all the years, since 1947, they've been using fear psychosis. They've been telling the Muslims, the minorities, you are under threat by this demon of Hinduism and Sanatan. And now it has all fallen flat. You think create a fear psychosis? Now, I want to raise a very relevant question on your channel today, Sneha. We, a lot of times, Congress has been saying BJP is right of the center. I want to question today who is secular. Both, is that party who is saying uniform civil code? Is that party who has given, through its all its schemes, given more to the Muslims than to Hindus? And I have the data with me. You don't have the time. I'll give you the data. Or the party which is saying, I will not go for Pranjitishta, or the party which says Hindus are A, or the party which says Sanatan Dharam should be eliminated? Is that the block? Okay, Pankuri Patek. I will have to go to Pankuri Patek. You've made some strong allegations. Pankuri Patek, strong yeah. allegations by Dharinder. I I'll give you a minute and a half before I go to Chandrasekhar Jha. Pankuri, uh, uh, you know the larger picture that's emerging? Again, an attack on you know, the, the narrative of Shakti now being turned into anti Sanatan. That's something that right from Tamil Nadu BJP has been raising. And now finding an equal foothold with Rahul Gandhi's remark. Folly, how is Congress going to counter this? Because one thing is for sure, this is going to be something that the BJP is going to take across its campaigns right till the end. How, how is Congress going to deal with this? Neha, the point that I made has again been proved. I heard the BJP spokesperson multiple times. He mentioned Hindu, Muslim, Sanatan, Dharm, but he could not dare to say a word on the corruption, on electoral bonds, on the mistreatment of women under the BJP regime. He could not speak a word on any of these issues. And this is what is going to bring down the BJP because the people cannot be fooled multiple times. Today, after 10 years of misgovernance, the people have questions from the BJP government and just by crying and cribbing about Congress said this, Congress said that, Congress did this, people have given them ample time to actually do what they promised, but they have failed on all accounts and now they'll have to answer to the people. So I don't think this crying and this uh, tr tr trying to create a mass hysteria around, you know, what uh, Congress said and it is against Sanatan Dharma and all of that. I think people have already bought into it enough and people have understood that this is all that BJP can talk about. It cannot deliver on any of its promises and they, they completely stand exposed. I think corruption was one plank on which they used to claim that we are better than the Congress. But in these entire 10 years, they cannot, they could not incriminate Congress on any of the uh, charges that they used to make. In fact, they have themselves been exposed of probably, you know, uh, carrying out the biggest uh, All right. corruption Let me just go, all go over to Chandrasekhar Jha world. for like 30 seconds, 40 seconds. Pankri, you made a point. Chandrasekhar Jha, Eknath Shinde today said the damage is done. Uh, see, uh, there is no damage. Damage has been done to the uh, BJP, to the uh, electoral body of the BJP. And what they are trying to pose that uh, they only rely on Hindu votes, that is very clear. And narrative of their uh, institution and narrative of their running the government is also clear. At this moment, they want to show that it is with regard to Nari Shakti. If you say so, then what happened in Manipur? What happened in UP is these are not a 
kind of allegations which have come up against the BJP regarding Nari Shakti. Right. The BJP could not worship any Nari Shakti okay. at any moment. And they are saying today that uh, we uh, we have made a statement on Mr. Rahul All right, Gandhi. Chandra Shekhar Jha, I'm being told Mr. time is Rahul totally Rahul. up. I'm being told yes. to wrap. Just five seconds. Mr. okay. I have one less than MP. 30 seconds. Dharinder Tayal, respond. Less than 30 seconds, I can't go beyond. Yes. One MP, Viral Sahu and his house, 350 crores are found. And they're talking about corruption. They got corruption of 4.5 lakh right. crores. Thank you for them. joining us, all three of you. This is definitely one of the conversations, one of the counters, one of the debates that we are going to see more of ahead of the elections. Thank you for joining us. Time for a short break.